Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. At this point in your project development, you should have an initial project plan created. Before you begin to record the actual progress made or the actual work performed on the tasks within your project file, you should save a copy of the original project plan. This copy is called a project baseline. You can use the baseline as a reference point later on as you begin to track the actual work performed on the project. This allows you to compare the actual values, durations, and work associated with the completion of the project's tasks to your original project baseline. This data can then be displayed and printed by using the different views within Microsoft Project and by using the visual reports from Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Visio that also appear within Microsoft Project when those programs are installed along with Microsoft Project. To save a baseline copy of your project file, click the Project tab in the ribbon and then click the Set Baseline drop-down button in the Schedule button group. In the drop-down menu that appears, select the Set Baseline command. In the Set Baseline dialog box that appears, select the Set Baseline option button, and then select the name of the baseline copy that you want to create from the adjacent drop-down. You can have up to 11 different baseline copies of your project file. Next, in the For section, select the Entire Project option. You can then click the OK button to save your current project file as the selected baseline. Once you have a baseline created, you can then compare the saved values in the baseline against the actual work values that you record. For example, you can see the variance between your baseline task durations and your actual task durations when using the variance view of the table within the Gantt chart view of your project file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.